Here at the Laboratories of Cognitive Neuroscience, we study brain and behavioral development in many different ways. Um, my lab focuses on identifying early pre-markers in the developing brain for language-based learning disabilities such as developmental dyslexia in preschoolers or even as young as infancy. Developmental dyslexia usually is diagnosed within second or third grade. However, we think um, it's very, very important that it will be diagnosed much earlier prior to reading onset. One of the main studies we do right now is the BOLD study. It stands for Boston Longitudinal Dyslexia Study. We will look for pre-readers with and without a family history of dyslexia and look at their behavior and look at their brain function prior to reading onset and see whether these assessments can predict reading outcome later. We already know that there are behavioral markers of developmental dyslexia, such as trouble with rhyming, for example. Um, however, what we want to do now is see whether magnetic resonance imaging can help us to improve the prediction of reading outcome. So we want to make sure that all the children who actually need the help will receive the help. Magnetic resonance imaging can be a little bit challenging because you basically ask a four-year-old not to move for 10 minutes, which is almost impossible. So what we've done in the last couple of years is develop a very child-friendly protocol that's fun for the whole family and it's very educational. We have a fake MRI machine in our Children's Hospital Waltham location. It's made out of wood. It looks exactly like the real thing. It makes the same noises, but you can climb on it. You can run around it. And we use this play space in order to make the child familiar with the environment. We know that developmental dyslexia has severe clinical, psychological and social implications. Uh, we hope that by diagnosing uh, dyslexia earlier or identifying children at risk earlier prior to reading onset, we can help build independent education plans which will be very beneficial for teacher and the classroom so that the negative outcome of dyslexia will be less severe later in life.